Welcome to Two Stroke Diagnostics. This lesson demonstrates a procedure for pressure testing the carburetor. All lessons are taken from the Advanced Sequential Troubleshooting Worksheet provided at the service schools. This lesson covers Section G, Fuel Supply Inspection, Line 1, Check Carburetor for Tightness, and Line 3, Pressure Test the Carburetor. During this session, we will do the carburetor pressure test to determine if the needle, seat, check valves, and purge bulb are working properly. During this short session, we will perform three pressure tests on the carburetor. First, we will check to see if the carburetor mounting screws are loose. This is a simple test. It's nothing more than taking the carburetor and try twisting a little. Ours is nice and tight. We're good to go. Always empty the fuel tank and purge the carburetor, fuel lines, and filter prior to performing the pressure test. We want the carburetor wet with fuel internally only. Fuel will damage test gauges on contact. Never, never use needle pop-off pressure to test a diaphragm carburetor. This will damage your fuel pump and di diaphragm. When testing rotary valve carburetors, a maximum of 10 PSI is used. When testing cube carburetors with a butterfly plate, a maximum of 7 PSI is used. Carburetor pressure test 1. For clarity's sake, we have taken the carburetor off the unit for this demonstration. We have a rotary carburetor, so our maximum pressure is going to be 10 PSI. There's our rotor valve. We'll open it for you so you can see it. See it twist like a motorcycle, rotary valve carburetor. We'll hook our pressure tester up to our barbed fuel line. With the pump, we're going to pressurize the carburetor to a maximum of 10 PSI. It must take the 10 PSI and hold and not leak down. Ours is working great. The pressure was applied through the fuel pump onto the tip of the inlet needle and seat assembly. If the carburetor fails this pressure test, the unit will flood and run rich throughout the speed range as extra fuel is fed through the metering chamber. If the carburetor did not hold 10 PSI, the carburetor must be repaired before performing additional pressure tests. Once the first pressure test is passed, we move on to the next pressure test. Carburetor pressure test number two. Still working on a rotary valve carburetor. We have 10 PSI hooked up and on our needle and seat. We're gonna use the purge bulb to release some of that pressure. It must drop and hold. Dropped and held. Dropped and held. Our system is working perfectly. This test confirms that our metering needle is working correctly. It came off the seat and reseated. This test also indicates that the purge system outlet check valve is working correctly. If the pressure continues to drop, check for a worn needle valve, dirt, or misassembly of the metering components or outlet purge check valve. The leak must be repaired before continuing to test 3. Carburetor pressure test 3. We're still working with a rotary valve carburetor. This time we're going to hook our pressure tester up to the purge return line and we're going to use the purge bulb to pump the pressure into the pressure pump. It must reach 10 psi and it must hold 10 psi. Our carburetor is working correctly. If the purge bulb fails to build and hold 10 psi, inspect a check valve under the purge bulb. It must work both directions. Inspect the two check valves in the black valve body. Repair and replace as needed. Now that you've seen it demonstrated off the unit, we will show you how easy it is to set up and perform test one. Here's our unit. We're going to remove our purge line and put a divot in it to help hold it out of our way. We're going to remove our fuel line and hook our pressure tester up to the barb fitting on the carburetor. And we're going to use our pressure pump to apply 10 psi to the carburetor. It must hold 10 psi. As you can see, ours is slowly leaking down. So, it did not pass test one. 
since our demonstration unit failed test one, it had to be repaired. After the repair, the unit was retested and passed all the pressure tests. This concludes carburetor pressure testing. Please view our other two stroke diagnostics videos.